So in today's lesson seven, I want to show you something about resistance that I know many people don't know and many traders, they ignore. So at resistance, two things can happen. At resistance, two things can happen. So let's assume this is our resistance. And you need to understand if you're a newbie that resistance is found when the market is on an uptrend. So anytime the market is on an uptrend, it continues creating resistance until it finds a strong resistance. So all along, it was finding a not strong resistance, let's say weak resistance, until the time it finds a very strong resistance. So if this is a four hour time frame, this strong resistance can be available even on daily. If um, this strong resistance can also be available on weekly, that's what makes a resistance strong. So you need to understand that a resistance is found when the market is moving on an upper side, on an uptrend. That's when we look for resistance. Buyers are the ones who go breaking resistance. So the first thing that you need to notice that happens at resistance is something that we call fake out. So whenever the market breaks a resistance, you can see every here it's a result of break of structure. We call it BOS. So anytime the market is doing a BOS, what is happening that we get a continuation. So in this case, we do not have a fake out. Why? Because once the market breaks, it is going to the next. It breaks, it is goes to the next, it goes to the next. So many people understand that if a market breaks an area, the market will keep continuing, like the market will continue. What people don't understand how to trade is a fake out. There are many times that the market will break like this. And for you, you think, oh, it's just um, the normal way. The market will retrace a little bit and then continue going on the upper move. But sometimes, many other times that if, even when the market breaks like that and then goes down. So immediately it has gone like that and then starts to go down. So what really causes a fake out? Let's say, what really for causes a fake out and how would you even avoid a fake out? How would you know how to trade a fake out in advance? So this video, I'm focusing on a fake out at resistance. In lesson eight, I will do a fake out at support. I will show you an easy trick. And you see, when you now understand that every time a resistance is broken, you might get either a fake out or a continuation. And I've shown you a fake out is something like the market breaks an area and then goes down. I don't know if I can I can show you. And I have a very good example here. You can see what happened after this market broke this resistance. Can you see what happened? We get a market breaking resistance and then selling and have never come back. So this was just a fake out. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the market will break a resistance and leave out a fake out. So at the end of the day, how would you notice a fake out in advance or before it is too late? Because you can imagine when it broke here and everyone knew this market is hard, like buyers have momentum and then all of a sudden the market dropped and it has never come back. You can imagine the frustration. So today's lesson, I want to show you how do you, trade fake out. So let's begin from the chart analysis. So I have looked for a chart where if you look at this chart very closely, when the market has broke, uh, the, the market is on a downtrend and it is creating lower lows and lower highs. And it has happened, it has broken a very uh, major resistance area. So the minute the buyers have broken this resistance area, notice many retail traders, they want to enter buy. So this is our resistance. So what happens is that the retail traders want to do what? To enter buy. The only reason why they are thinking the market will buy, it's because it has, it has broke that, um, resistance so they are thinking even if it is to retrace this market will trace just a little bit and then the market will do what it will continue to go up this is the mind of everyone 
But today I want to change that mindset. And I tell you every time the market breaks out like this, you can see it is clearly, it is a breakout. And then the question that people will ask themselves, is it a reversal or what is happening? Is this market reversing towards sell side to go to buy side? And you see all these uh, dilemma and questions. If you don't know what to do next, you'll be stuck. So this is what you'll be doing. Every time a resistance area is, is broke, you will be lowering to, you'll go to lower time frame. The only reason why you're lowering, uh, you're going to lower time frame, you'll be able to know if this is a fake out. So you need to write in your notebook, Fake out, fake out equals, fake out equals double top on lower time frame. So whenever you have a fake out, it is equals to a double top on lower time frame that you can't see. If I try to zoom, I will not see any double top because these are red candles. But if I go to a lower time frame, I might find that this fake out has activated a double bottom. So, so fake out is when the market the, the market activates a double bottom on lower time frame. So let's flip to daily because these are weekly time frame. Let's flip to daily and see what was happening. So same setup, different time frame. You can see that we have an interest area. This is an area of interest. So we have this zone, the small zone, which is marked with a uh, one candle, one candle resistance. So we have one zone like that. And then we cannot ignore the bigger zone. So I've told you, if it is a fake out, it will react on these two zones. So you need just to be patient to see if it is a fake out, it will, rea it will react. How do we know it has reacted to number one and not number two? How would we know it has reacted to number one and not number two? Because this is, a, I've told you, fake out equals a double, a double top. Have I said double top or double bottom? Let's see. What have I said? Or have I canceled? If I have said double bottom, double top, yes. It will form double top on lower time frame. So you already know that because we have a fake out on weekly, I am looking, if it is a, if uh, not even a fake out, because I have a, a, a break of structure, if the market will give me a fake out, they have to do a possible double top. So what happens is that when you have here a possible double top, this is a these are possible double top. You will apply the rules of double top here. So you'll say, wait for red candle. So WBB, check if it is NGAF. If not, you put a box. So you'll come here and apply the rules because if at all it will react to that zone, it has to react to the rules. So you put like that and you wait patiently the next day. The market does not breakout in fact it prints a green candle you you remove the the yellow box and start again so as you're starting again notice that zone has been violated so we are hoping maybe they will take maybe they'll take double top uh the second one and you see they might even come down so that they can go up because you see on the weekly, the resistance being broken, it means buyers are strong. The market will buy. But this video wants to show you how to identify a fake out. How do you identify a fake out? We are not interested with continuation. We are just interested with fake out. How do you spot fake out in the market? So the market continues and activates our double top. So once our double top is activated, we get a red candle. The next question we are asking ourselves, this red candle, has it engulfed? No. So you put a what? You put a box and then you wait for the box to be broken. So once the box has been broken like that, you need first to measure the distance of the half. Guys, never fail to do that. 
I want to show you how to always spot a fake out. Every time the market breaks a resistance and it's a fake out, lower time frame will be showing you a pattern that has already confirmed. So this is our half, guys. So in short, this market that has broken weekly, you can imagine how crazy that is. Like a market price breaks weekly resistance. And then now on the daily, we are being told a confirmation for sale. We are being told that you can sell, you can sell how many pips? 253 pips. Okay, let's continue. So short position, you come to short position and then you figure it out if it is, will work or not. So at the end of the day, let's see what happens. So the market starts to drop. Why? Because already the pattern has confirmed. The double top pattern has confirmed. So the market sells and it sells completely and hit our TP. So the question is, if I flip on the weekly, the question is, would you have known that that was a fake out without the double top? Would you have known that that is a fake out? And that's why many people lose money because from the fake out to all the way to like 300 pips, the question is, would you have known? And that's why I'm telling you, if you want to spot a fake out from afar, just go to lower time frame and mark any zone that that market might activate a double top. So in lesson, uh, in lesson eight, I will tackle on double bottom. If it is a fake out, how do you trade it? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're learning something. Comment down below. Let me know. Let me have any question that you might have. Always remember I have paid mentorship program that I charge $400. These are some of the things. This is just like a, a, um, a drop in the ocean. My classes are very intense and I teach very, very deep stuff. So if you're interested, you can join my mentorship program at $400. Thank you so much, guys. Love you.